Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Towny Refresh. Today, we have a refresh of the Pancakes Home, and I have brought in Iggy, the toddler, into this world and designed this home with him in mind as well as our two main characters of Bob and Eliza. So, when, you know, you upload this version of the world, when I get it done in, you know, a year or two, <laughs> um, you'll, you'll have a toddler in the household. For those of you who don't know, you can download a version of the Pancakes family where Iggy is available. It is on the gallery and it is an official Sims family. So toddlers were not in the original base game, if you didn't know that. So that is why he does not appear in any of the, you know, worlds here if you don't download him. <laughs> so, but I went that route because I got some really cool inspiration for this build from a home in New Orleans. This one right here. And though I understand they have limited it since this picture was taken but i stuck with this beautiful red home and this like i said this was my inspiration for it it's similar i have no idea what the inside looked like the back looked like i made all that up but the front is based on that home and i thought it was great i i feel like it's ornate enough that they would live there. Okay. I will say I do a little bit of changing up of the floor plan as I go along, but not too much once I get it kind of set here in the beginning. I... I struggled with this, though. These windows change multiple times. <laughs> Mostly because I realized that, like, there's some clipping, there's there's other things. Again, I was trying to match the original house as much as possible, at least in the front. However, it is The Sims, and we all know that sometimes you just can't do that. So... You can see here, I'm working on, like, what I want to do with the roof. And originally, I thought maybe, like, maybe, you know, put a roof over these. And I kind of looked at it. I was going to play with it to make this look a little more realistic. But I didn't want to go through all the roofing stuff to see if I liked it. So you can see me kind of playing with a couple options here of what I might want to do. And then I just realized I didn't like the look. Now the original does have roofing over these windows. But I decided just adding this detail here made it look just fine. So that's what I did. I also didn't want to do anything too complicated in case... You wanted to change this once it got downloaded. So, or, you know, we have clipping issues. So, yeah. Um, as you can see here, there's big rooms. I made this home probably a little bigger than I needed to. <laughs> but it works. I like it. And that is what really matters at the end of the day. All right. So... I also play with these windows, and I play with this fireplace a little bit. I really debated about what bricks to use here, and how to really show this thing. So it does change quite a few times as well during the uh, during the build. It, it stays similar. I just play with it. All right, so kitchen here. I decided to put a whole bunch of cabinetry in because, you know, Bob is a chef 
or wants to be a chef. So he needs an amazing kitchen. So I made a nice big, what I'm going to call chef's kitchen. And I love this kitchen. I love how it ends up turning out and very happy with it. So I think it's fitting to the vibe of the house. I think it's fitting to the vibe of the pancakes family. So my kind of plan with this house was to merge their two, you know, wants, likes, aspirations into one house. So yeah, I I kind of just it looks like a home where two people combined, but it's not in a bad way. Okay. Um, also, by the way, building tip there, the call cabinets do not show up when you have, you know, like half walls on or whatever. So I put trash cans in there for the kitchens. I've started doing that because it makes sense. At least there's something there. So anyway, in case you saw that. But anyway, so I kind of tried to merge maybe their their likes, their, you know, everything into one thing, you know, one house. And so it may seem like there's some styles that are different. So this is a very eclectic house. Eliza, I see as someone who is going to want wealthier looking objects. Whether they cost more or not, she wants to bring out that idea that they have a lot of money. So she's going to buy like more antique things is what I'm thinking. She's going to buy stuff that looks like, you know, it costs a lot, but she really found it at a thrift store. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's the vibe I'm going for here. Where Bob just, he has, you know, he has some stuff. It's just there. Maybe it's stuff from, you know, bachelor days, whatever. But, you know, he has, he has some things and they work okay together. We're going to say that. But in case you're wondering why I didn't keep the same theme throughout all of the furniture, like not everything's this more, you know, I want to say antique or, you know, older feel uh, that is why that's where I was going with that all right so the other thing I do want to point out I am attempting to keep the grid off for my builds I have put up a a poll to see if that's something you guys really are it's something that bothers you I work as a drafter so I see grids all day <laughs> the problem here is every time I save the grid turns back on so I'm trying to catch it but I don't always so I, it is if it's something you guys really you know it really bothers you all please fill out that poll and I will work harder on getting that turned off when I save or remembering to do it I am starting to see it when I build, so that's that's helpful. Just because now I'm, you know, aware that that might be a problem. I had somebody comment on a video that they found it distracting, so I'm willing to try it. And I did notice a lot of other speed builders don't have the grid on. I'm kind of wondering if they save. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm wondering how often they save. <laughs> yeah. Or if they've just gotten really good at I'm turning it off. I've been looking to see if there's a mod too, but I haven't found anything. So if someone knows of a mod that will keep that off, let me know. I don't think Better Build By does that. I wish it did. All right. So as you can see here, I'm, I'm going with that more traditional look in the kitchen and dining area for sure. And I'm going to say Eliza decorated, okay? 
really most of the house has this look of, you know, a little more upscale, but not too upscale. <laughs> so I want it to be something that, um, not necessarily a starter home because their home was worth quite a bit originally, but something that is a little more upscale, but not to Eliza's liking. Okay. That's, that's my thought process on that. So, so, you know, they have a nice kitchen. They have some nice stuff, but there's room for improvement. And as always with the space game builds I'm doing, I do leave some room for you to add things from other packs. I'm trying not to clutter these up too much, but they're still good to play in if you just download them and want to play and not decorate. So, so yeah, I, I loved building this house. It's, it was just very, you know, very cool. I'm, I'm really liking doing this series because I have some lore to work with. I have, you know, these families that are set to work with and I'm hoping I'm doing them justice. I'm trying not to go too much into lore with these, but base them on kind of their profiles that are in the game or in the case of Iggy the Toddler in the, you know, Sims Wiki. So <laughs> that's kind of what I'm using to decide what they like, what they don't like. That type of thing. So is the Sims Wiki, in case you were wondering. As I said, these are meant to just kind of improve upon, you know, the world a little bit. Give you guys something different to play in than the ones that came with the base game, but are still base game. I also am slowly going to be working on other lots with these builds. Friday's video is the Willow Creek Gym Refresh. All right. <laughs> that one is also based off of an actual, like, health club gym in New Orleans. So that, that one I like. It's kind of cool. Um, definitely fits the vibe of the world. That is something I'm going for. I have no intention of changing the vibes of this world, of the worlds for these builds, at least in this safe file I'm building. Now, that being said, I probably will try to put another save file together that is not based on, like, base game only for base game worlds. But that... I might do as a side project. I mean, I'm going to give you guys the, you know, homes I'm building, the, the stuff I'm building for it. But it'll be, you know, as I build things, they'll go in there. And it will it won't matter what pack it is. But, um, that's something I've always been working on. It's kind of my build world is... Kind of what I have it at. Um, but yeah, so look for that eventually. I think that one will fill up quicker than this because I have builds to put into that. Where this one, I'm, you know, doing it one week at a time. But, you know, it's fun. I like doing it. And hopefully, I can get a world. To up to you guys before this one's done so anyway i hope that made sense because i don't know my mind is not working this morning <laughs> so. all right well anyway this bar area i struggled with figuring this out and eventually it paid off i love this bar area and how it turned out it's cute I just use the columns here. I do change those out again to match what's outside. 
put some plants up here, the mirror. And I thought that just, it looked cute. I thought it was a very good way to kind of blend in the outside with the inside. I do also want to point out, I originally planned on the ledge there in the window to be another window seat. Base game, we don't have those. So I was going to make one just like I did in the Spencer Kim Lewis household. Unfortunately, it wasn't working. I don't know what was going on. Did the exact same thing I did in the last build. And it just wouldn't work. The difference is the game has been updated since I did the last build. So I don't know if it has something to do with that. I don't know if it's a mod issue. But that was my original intent. But I made it a plant ledge. I think it works. If you want to play with it and try to get a bench seat in there, you're more than welcome to. I did think about going back to the Spencer Kim Lewis household and pulling that from theirs, but I think it was a different, you know, a different size layout because it was more of a pointed, not this type of uh, kind of, you know, bay window. So, but, yeah, that might be too much work too. <laughs> so, but, yeah, I'll kind of play with them some more. I like doing those. And in this world, it's very fitting to have those little bench seats. So here I'm just kind of deciding which one of these I like better in that corner. That's all that was about. And I really was trying to find something to put in the corner. Eventually, I think I put a lamp in is what happens there. All right, so you can see I kind of skipped over the living room talking about that bench seat. That's where I kind of mix things up a little bit. You know, we're talking maybe a little more of Bob's things went into the living room. So, all right. So here, just kind of decorating up the entry area, fluttering it up a little bit, trying to make, I wanted to make this home feel lived in. Um, and I think I did that. I really do. Just creating some cute little corners, cute little you know, areas. And yeah, I think it worked really well. I will say I did struggle a little bit with the entry. The door area just was so blank. I did end up doing some cool things. I can't remember if I recorded that or not. I don't think I did. But you'll see it pop up eventually what I did there. Well, just some cute little like art decoration type stuff just to add a little bit i tried putting windows next to the door but we don't have thin windows in this game besides the ones you see there in what will be the office area and i needed thinner <laughs> thinner windows and it wasn't working with me but just wanted to point that out while i was thinking about it so Office area, decided to go with like a blue. I am well aware that Eliza likes green, but I thought the blue looked better. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then debated about an easel here because, as we know, Eliza might want to be an artist. <laughs> okay, you may not know that if you don't go into the lore. But I'm going with that route where well, the Sims Wiki is saying there's possibility that she might want to be an artist. So there is an easel in this build. It's outside. But it's there. You could move it into this office and move the chess table out. I just thought the office was probably a better space for the chess table. And... I'll say this office was a little more difficult to decorate than I thought. Mostly because of the layout. And I think that's what I liked most about this build. I really had to think outside the box a little more. 
because I didn't make them perfectly square rooms and, and things like that. So I think having that kind of challenge of some strange rooms was great. I am thinking about doing some shell challenges from other creators out there just for something to do. But maybe that's what I do for some of these homes that aren't occupied in this, you know, in these base game worlds and any other world as well. But maybe I'll do a couple of those and we can put those into this as well. It just won't be part of the refresh series. But like the build on Friday, I will be kind of letting you know that's what it's, you know, it's for. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I think doing things like that would be just fun. Just a fun way to decorate this world up. I'm also going to start eventually looking at families to move in. So if you have made any base game only families to put into these worlds, leave your ID in a comment, your gallery ID, because I'm going to start looking for some of those. And what I'll probably do is get a whole big list together and then just randomize your randomizer to put in whoever. But I'd really like for you guys to, you know, contribute if you have it available. If not, I'm just going to pick some off the gallery. So, <laughs> But if I have enough people interested in putting base game townies in my world, and you can make them, like, if you don't have them and want to make them up, make them up. And leave a comment in any of these videos. Just let me know, hey, I have a base game Sims family or I have a university Sims family. Right now, I'm just looking for base game. So I'm going to go through all the base game and see how this series does. And if it takes off as much as I'm thinking it might, I will continue on to other packs. All right, so here I'm doing Iggy's bedroom, and because we don't have a lot of info on toddler Iggy, I just kind of did it more in a neutral, like, yellow, orange colors, stuff I don't normally use. And, of course, threw in some greens, because dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. And just kind of, you know, made it a fun little thing. So, yeah, as you can see right there, the grid came back on when I saved her. Just pointing that out. As I said, I am getting better about catching it. So I'll keep working on that if you guys want that. So anyway, the, the toddler's room, like I said, I just kind of decorated it up for a toddler. And I like it. It's got everything in it. And then now here, just working on this Jack and Jill bathroom. And I made it more adult bathroom. But eventually I had some cute little like wall stickers because they're only a toddler for a little while. So I wanted to decorate it as something that you could easily take the stickers off. Now, to be honest, if you have some of the other packs, I can't remember. Maybe it's bathroom clutter or the kids, a kids pack it has some really cute like bathroom wall stickers that are just adorable. So if you have those, you might want to replace those if you want to make this more of a toddler-friendly bathroom. So, yeah, I think it turned out pretty cute. I really thought that putting in the cabinets versus just the sinks made this house feel as old as it's supposed to. So I did that in all the bathrooms. I'm not sure if I did that with the downstairs, but I did do that with the upstairs as cabinetry and all that. And it's to give it that feel of an old, an older home. So as you can see, I 
also saved there. Here I am working on what I'm going to call a guest room. However, if you're playing by the rules of the pancake family does not get along with each other, as in Bob and Eliza really shouldn't be married, but are, this can be her room. <laughs> or his room. So, either one. It kind of went with a very neutral theme with this. So, as I said, this could really be his room. It, he likes brown. So, that's possible. But she likes green. And I use green as an accent in here. So, as I said, it could be either one of their rooms. But... If you don't want to play that way, and you're going to play as the lore of Eggy fixed everything, which I won't get into that, but, you know, this is a guest room or possibly the next child's room, but I designed it as a guest room just because there isn't a current child. So, I know base game you can't technically have like you know roommates or anything like that but as i said if you play for the there's they sleep in separate beds thing i figured that worked or you could use it as a guest room so and i really do like this room i think it's just a cute room i might load this one up to the gallery as a room just because it's a very standard basic room and i think it works out really well for a bunch of different builds so look for that on the gallery as well. That's the other thing. If there is a room that you guys really like and you're like, oh, upload that as a room to the gallery, let me know. I will do that. Okay, so working on the master bedroom. And this I played with quite a bit. I changed quite a few things in here, moved things around, moved some walls to get what I wanted out of it. Change the bed. I know I changed the bed at some point. This bed does not stay. And it took me a little bit to figure out what I wanted to do. Originally, I was going to keep it kind of more neutral. But then I'm like, well, you know what? They're in a red house. We're going to give them a red bedroom. Even though neither one of them loves the color red. <laughs> Don't think they hate it. I hope I can't remember, but if they do, it's easy to change. Or if you don't like it, it's easy to change that part. But I think most of the red. I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. I think it, I think I changed the chairs or keep the chairs so they're kind of neutral. I think it's just the bed, the walls, and maybe a carpet or two. That's red. So, but anyway, this was a much bigger space than I originally, like, for some reason thought it was. I, I don't know why. I don't know why I thought it was smaller. I designed it. Yeah. But, so I play around a little bit. Decide I want to put a fireplace in. Because older homes had fireplaces in really every bedroom or most of the bedrooms, but definitely in the master. So I decided to put a fireplace in because I had the room and then a little seating area. Um, that sofa changes. I had so much trouble trying to figure out furnishings for this one <laughs> because you have, I did the Spencer Kim Lewis household that. It's just modern. I've done the BFF household that was just a bunch of stuff. <laughs> and this one I wanted to be a little more upscale. But I didn't want to go too upscale because the next home for next week is the Goth family. So I didn't want it to feel the same. Yeah, so I struggled a little bit. 
I also did end up in a couple spots, as you just saw, putting in artwork from the gallery. What I'm starting to do, because I'm noticing some of these artworks I'm pulling in are coming up as custom content. I didn't use the gallery much except for like some rooms before this. So when you go to look for artwork on the gallery, you can put no CC art and it will bring up art that will not come up as custom content. So that is what I've been doing. However, that being said, it's not foolproof, I'm sure. It's all based on yeah. the person saying it's not custom considered custom content. So in my builds, if you notice that artwork comes down, it's because it came up as custom content. But most of the time, it doesn't seem to have an effect so far. Um, I've been saving these to my library and no CC has popped up yet. <laughs> so, so far that uh, that search trick is working. Again, that's hashtag no CC. And yeah, so good way to add some extra art to your builds. So here, struggling with this bathroom because I wanted it bigger. It was really it. I thought it would be big enough, but um, if you noticed, I put closets in the other two rooms and I wanted Bob and Eliza to have a walk-in closet in their master suite. So I had to play around with the bathroom a little bit, but I love how that hallway turned out. I think it creates a little bit more of a private entry to the bedroom and I don't know, it just looks different. I've been trying to create more, you know, interesting hallways, <laughs> I don't know, just for fun. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to start playing around. And a lot of it is because base game, we only have so much we can use. So architectural details can really make this these builds more interesting. So that's where I'm going. All right, so here you can see, again, I used the cabinetry for the sinks. And just kind of adding in a few things here and there to... To make this look a little more upscale, I am going to say that they remodeled the bathroom. Okay. And Bob got his wish for brown. So, all right. So, here you can see the walk in closet. And if you're wondering where that second shelf with the more dressy stuff comes from, that is in debug. So, I don't know why it's in debug, but it is. And I thought it was fitting. I like that I have some op better options for the base game walk-in closet. <laughs> All right, so I did kind of leave the one wall blank. Um, I tried putting in a couple shelves there, but nothing worked well. All right, so you can see here more, you know, more artwork off the gallery just to kind of fill in that wall. I did go through when I play tested and put frames on a few of these pieces. I had already taken pictures though, so the frames don't show up in the pictures. I didn't do frames on the ones upstairs because they are meant to be frameless. That's that's how that artwork works. All right. So as you can see here, kind of working outside now. Put in a you know little. Oh man, I just blanked on what those calls. I'm going to call it a jungle gym because that's what's stuck in my head, but it's not. Monkey bars. There we go. Into the backyard. <laughs> and a uh, little gardening area because, you know, Bob is a chef. And food tastes better when it's fresh from the garden, right? So the other thing is just kind of, you know, landscaping. Figuring this out. I wasn't originally going to just line this with bushes. But it works. I like it. I think it makes sense here. And gives a little bit of privacy. 
So, yeah. Also, this house does get lifted up. That's, you know, that's one reason I'm not being too picky about where those are. But... Yeah. The fencing changes because I realized you can't see it from one angle. I wish they'd update that fence because I do like the idea of using it, but certain angles, it looks weird. All right. And then just basic stuff out here right now. I do do, I do a couple of little garden areas, just plants. I mean, not, you know. Not anything you have to grow, because that's in the middle there. But yeah, I think landscaping-wise, it fits the world and just kind of blends in well with the existing area. All right, so the front here, I struggled with the landscaping here. Originally, I wanted to use these, but I didn't like this look. And I didn't want just these bushes. I wanted flowers. However, I decided I didn't like these flowers eventually. <laughs> so you'll see that. By the way, those hanging baskets are a debug. And, yeah, as you can see, I really was thinking about doing a more extravagant little garden area up here. But Bob and Eliza are not necessarily gardeners. So I decided to keep it simple. And... Yeah, so here I am working on this. I love this little undergrowth thing. Decided I did not like them with those flowers. So I put in these rose bushes instead. And though they're not my favorite, they work. Um, I really wanted something else, but I think what I was thinking of was not a base game plant. I can't remember exactly where it was at. I didn't go look, but I think that was my struggle. I wanted something that wasn't a base game, but I think it works. I think it looks cute. That's a little something here. And uh, yeah, it works for the house. What helps is bringing it up and then adding in that staircase. That really changed the look of everything. <laughs> Right, so now adding in lighting as usual, and I really like how this looks. By the way, the plant downstairs, I do move after the build. <laughs> if you notice, it's hanging, it's not in the right spot. There's one in the middle, and there's one up near the actual edge of the porch. All right, so the other thing, I make this little seating area, this cute little garden area, and as I was going through playtesting this after pictures, um, I realized that the seating area just, it looked weird just sitting there. So you will see in, because I did take a photo after, that I add a little bit to that seating area um, and i like it i think it's cute and it's perfect for base game but it's not in this build i did want to point that out so you look for it in the photos right so here just kind of finishing touches figuring out what i want to do with things i decided to add a gate here because it made sense and we are done with the build so again, I had a lot of fun building this, and I really hope you guys are enjoying this series. I am going to go ahead and let you guys take a look at the photos, and I will be right back.
All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this build. And as you can see, that little seating area, I just added some candles. If you own any of the packs where you can have a fire pit, that is really what that's designed for. But the candles work there. But anyway, if you're enjoying this series, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I post the refresh build on Tuesday and then my other build on Fridays. So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are. And I will see you on Friday. Bye now.